Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how I created these compass rect ribbon pours. Um, in the description box below this video is the list of all of the colors that I've used and my detailed hints and tips on the technique. I call it the keys to success. And if you stay to the end of the video, you'll see close-ups of the wet and the dry results. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and leave me a comment and say hi before you go. So thanks a lot and enjoy. Hello everyone. So tonight is experiment night for me here in my studio. And um, I just finished uh, painting something and trying something new and it turned out amazing. And uh, when I went and I did film it and when I checked the, uh, the film to see how it, how it looked, the um, uh, camera was out of focus. So the curse of technology strikes Nate again. <laughs> technology has never liked me. So I'm going to do it again and hopefully recreate it. And, um, uh, and this time, hopefully the camera picks up the whole thing. So I've already put down my base coat of white and I am going to uh, do a ribbon pour um, in, on the canvas. And then I'm going to wreck the lines using this compass. I was recently cleaning out the junk drawer in my kitchen, which you have to do every couple of years, I'm told, by my husband. And uh, I came across this compass that I've used for other projects, but um, I thought, oh, I wonder if I could use this to wreck the lines on a pour painting. Um, because, you know, fluid artists, if we can't pour with it or on it, we use it to wreck the lines, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to use this compass to um, do something fun and creative on there. So let's get started. I have already layered a cup, so I'll go through the colors with you. Um, this is a mix of, I know it looks orange, but it's actually a mix of uh, Amsterdam uh, Azo Yellow Lemon and uh, Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose Light. So the two of those mixed together made this lovely kind of peachy orange color. Uh, and then this is a custom color also. Uh, it's a mix of Atelier Quinacridone Red Violet Hue and Golden's Naphthol Red Medium. Made a really deep, lovely, um, almost like, like a dark magenta color. Uh, and then I have this Amsterdam titanium or Amsterdam um, sky blue light, and then I uh, my base color is um, Amsterdam titanium white. So those are my colors. I have already layered them in the cup, so I'm going to pour them in a line in our ribbon pour right here across the canvas.
So we're gonna take our compass. We're gonna judge basically where we think the um, we think the center is. Right about there. And I'm gonna start inside these lines and we're just gonna go in a little circle. Actually, I'm going to come a little closer this time, come inside a little further. There we go. Very cool. Okay, so let's come a little further out. Let's come outside the lines now. Right about there. Okay, one more. Right about there. I'm going around this multiple times because I want to drag that paint as far around the circle as I can get it. And hopefully, even if it's just a tiny little thin line, I want it to connect. So hopefully that's what's happening here. I love it. It is so freaking cool like a ripple drip dropped into, into water. Awesome, I really love this. I think the colors are really cool. I'm glad there's some hints of that blue in there, but the, uh, the violet and the orange, and almost, I can see some almost yellow in there too. It looks great, I'm really happy with that. And okay, I will, Clean up my sides and edges and bring you in for a close-up. So here are, is the overhead view of my two compass wrecked ribbon pours. I could bring you in for a close-up here. This is the one that I did uh, that was <laughs> out of focus, but I'm really super happy with this. Um, I love how clean it is. The lines are perfect. I'll bring you in down close so we can get a good view. So uh, this little spot, this little spiral here is where the, uh, uh, the static point of the compass stayed. Um, and the ribbon pour circles, it did connect all the way around. 
I messed up removing the, um, the compass right there. I learned my lesson not to do it in that way or in that spot, but all of the other ones turned out really great. Really cool lines. What a fun effect that is. I can't wait to, oh, got a little funky right there too. Hmm. I can't wait to exp experiment with this more. I really, really, really like it. So I'm sure you're gonna see me doing this in other things, other occasions. So there's the, there's the first one. Um, since they're, they were experiments, they're on 12 by 12 canvases. Uh, so the second one, I thought I would try, since this one was such a thin little stripe of color, I thought I'd try it with a bigger stripe of color. You guys can let me know what you prefer. It might be fun to just do this with no ne no negative space at all and just cover the entire canvas and then wreck it. I think I'll do that one next. Um, because this turned out so cool. Look at those lines. Now they're not exactly even. This type of compass that I have, um, it doesn't come out in specific sizes. It just kind of scrolls out. So. You know, the gaps between that center and the first ring, and then the second ring and the third ring are all different sizes. So uh, I'm going to need to buy another type of compass that, um, that I can scale a little easier. But I think that is such a cool effect. I really, really like it. Um, I guess I'm going to have to stick to smaller canvases, though, to use it, because it only goes that cam that um, compass will only stretch so far, but those lines are so pretty. Look at that, so nice. I really really like it. Even going through it multiple times, every time you go through it, you create a new line. So look at all those individual little lines through there. So nice. I love. Let's get, see how close we can get to this. Look at those lines, look at all the lines. Wow. I hope that's still visible once it, um, once it dries. Yeah, so there we go. The compass wrecked ribbon pour. What'll they think of next, eh? <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching my experiments. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment before you go, and come back and see me sometime.